Pero hoy en esta tarde le quiero hablar del tema. But today this afternoon I'd like to talk to you about the title. Todo lo que empieza tiene un final. Everything that has a beginning will have an end. Todo lo que empezamos aquí en la tierra, todo lo que pasamos aquí tiene un final. Everything that we begin here on earth has an end. Así que yo le quiero invitar a que abra su Biblia, si no trajo la de papel, pues abra o, o encienda su aparato electrónico. I'm going to ask that you open your Bibles. If you didn't bring your paper Bibles, please open your electronic eh, Bibles. Teléfono inteligente, computadora inteligente. If you brought your intelligent phone, your eh, wise computer, intelligent eh, computer. Biblia, ábrala en el Evangelio según San Juan capítulo 19 y el versículo 28. Open it to the Bible and the book of John chapter 19 verse 30. Eh, en esta tarde quiero compartir estos tres versículos que están aquí o que los encontramos aquí en el Evangelio según Juan capítulo 19 y versículo 28. And we'd like to go ahead and start our John chapter 19 verse 28. Y dice de la manera siguiente. And the word reads. Después de esto, sabiendo Jesús que ya todo estaba consumado, dijo para que la escritura se cumpliese, tengo sed. Y estaba allí una vasija llena de vinagre, entonces ellos empaparon en vinagre una esponja y poniéndola en un hisopo, se la acercaron a la boca. Cuando Jesús hubo tomado el vinagre, dijo, consumado es. Y habiendo inclinado la cabeza, entregó el Espíritu. Later knowing that everything had been done and had been finished, and so the scripture will be fulfilled, he said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine and vinegar was there. So they soaked a sponge in it and put the sponge on a stalk and went ahead and placed it on his lips. When he had received the drink, he said, it is finished, it is done. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Todo tiene un final. Everything has an end. Cuando terminó toda aquella tortura sobre la vida de Jesús. When all that torture had finished upon Jesus' life. Toda aquella humillación que Jesús había pasado durante esos últimos días. All of these moments of humiliation that he had faced during these past days. Esos sufrimientos que tuvo que, se, que soportar el Señor Jesús. All of those moments of suffering that he had to go ahead and take. Todo ese dolor. All of that pain that he suffered. Jesús pronunció dos palabras. Palabras. Jesus pronounced two words. Y esas dos palabras fueron consumado es. And those words were it is done. Lo que Jesús estaba diciendo. What Jesus was saying. Esto es todo. This is it. It is done. Se ha terminado. It has finished. La palabra griega consumado. The word that means it has been Finished, es taleo. It is from the taleo. Esa palabra quiere decir. The word comes to meaning. Todo ha sido cumplido a cabalidad. It has all been done word by word. Todo se ha cumplido exactamente como estaba planificado. Everything had been finished according to what was established. Cuando Jesús dijo esa palabra. Palabras consumado es. When Jesus said it is all finished. Jesús estaba cumpliendo el propósito por el cual había venido a la tierra. He had finished his duty for the reason why he was sent all here to earth. En otras palabras, Jesús había cumplido su misión. In other words, 
Jesus had finished his mission. Había llegado el fin. The end had come. Porque el propósito de Jesús venir a la tierra. Because the purpose why Jesus came to earth. Era de redimir al ser humano. It was to be able to redeem the human being. Y cuando él estaba colgado ahí en esa cruz. And when he was hanging on that cross. Él estaba terminando su misión. He was finishing his mission. Por eso es que él dijo está terminado consumado es and that's why he said it is done it is finished Dios God tiene un propósito al final de cada situación. The Lord has a purpose at the end of every situation. Jesús había pasado esos últimas horas, esos últimos días bajo una presión increíble. Jesus has spent the last days, the last moments under such great pressure. Él había pasado por esa crisis. He had gone through that crisis. Pero hoy había llegado el momento cuando él estaba pronunciando esas palabras en la cruz but now the moment had come when he was pronouncing these words se ha terminado it is finished y es porque Dios and it's because God tiene un propósito específico en cada situación que nosotros vivimos because God has a specific purpose in every moment that we live through y no importa que tan duro sea esa crisis que a veces tenemos que pasar and it doesn't matter how harsh or difficult that crisis could be pero sabemos que después de esa crisis but we know that after that crisis va a haber un final there will be an end va a haber un final feliz there will be an end that will cuando be nosotros confiamos en Dios when we are able to trust God siempre va a haber un final feliz después de esas crisis duras y amargas que we tenemos we will always have a happy ending after the deep harsh crisis pasar? Los discípulos the disciples, estuvieron con Jesús they were with Jesus. alrededor de unos tres años y medio. They were with him for about three years and a half. Ellos vieron muchos milagros que Jesús había realizado. They saw many miracles that Jesus had performed. Y un día Jesús and one day Jesus les comenzó a decir he started to tell them que él tenía que ir a Jerusalén that he needed to go to Jerusalem y sufrir en las manos de las de las autoridades and to be able to suffer by hand of the authorities él les comienza a anunciar que iba a morir he starts to announce to them that he's gonna die pero también les dice que iba a resucitar but he also tells them that he will also resurrect ahora esto se refería a Jesús a la resurrección this is what Jesus meant when he was talking about resurrection cuando él les está diciendo voy a ir a Jerusalén y voy a ser apresado ahí he says I will go to Jerusalem and I will be arrested y me van a crucificar and they're gonna go ahead and crucify pero tranquilos me. but he said be still be at peace yo regresaré he says I shall return yo vendré nuevamente he says I will come back Jesús les estaba explicando esta situación Jesus was trying to explain this situation to them la cual iba a pasar en su vida this was going to go ahead and occur in their lives ahora cuando esto pasó when this happened que sucedió con los discípulos del Señor so what happened to the disciples of Jesus ellos habían experimentado y sufrido todas aquellas crisis they have experimented all those crises ellos estaban tristes estaban decepcionados they were sad they were very worried por lo que había sucedido en ese día en Jerusalén for all the events that had happened in Jerusalem Así que ellos estaban como habían perdido su fe. So they have lost their faith. A pesar de que Jesús les había dicho algo. Although Jesus had told them something. Tranquilos. He said be at peace. Te voy a regresar. He said I shall return. Pero ellos. But they. No entendieron esto. They couldn't understand that. Así que comienzan a pasar por esa situación. So they start to go through this situation. De tristeza. Of sadness. Su maestro se había muerto. Their teacher had died. Su maestro ya no estaba más. Their teacher was no longer there. Aquella confianza que ellos habían puesto en él. This trust that they had placed on him. Había desaparecido en it, unos momentos. It was all gone. It had diminished. It had 
gone. Ellos perdieron la fe. They had missed out. They had lost their faith. Se extraviaron. They had been a discourse. They were set somewhere else. Se confundieron. They were now confused. No se enteraron. They were not aware. En el propósito que Dios tenía al final. What the purpose that Jesus had at the end. Y eso mismo muchas veces nos pasa a nosotros. And it's exactly the same thing that happens to us. Cuando estamos pasando por una crisis. When we are going through a crisis. Cuando estamos pasando por momentos difíciles. When we are going through moments that are very difficult. Llegan esos momentos en que nuestras esperanza comienza a diluirse. There is that moment where our faith or our trust tries to diminish. Cuando estamos en medio de una crisis financiera. When we're in the midst of a financial crisis. Una crisis de salud. And we're in a crisis and a crisis in our health. Una crisis familiar. Or we have a family crisis. Nos desenfocamos del verdadero propósito que Dios tiene para nosotros. We lose we are lost in the focus and we don't know what God has in store for us. Perdemos nuestra realidad. We are lost in our reality. No nos centramos en el en el en el propósito de Dios. We are not focused in the purpose of God. Cuando pasamos por crisis, when we go through crisis, le ponemos mucha atención a las crisis. We pay so much attention to the crisis. Y nos olvidamos de que Dios, a través de esa crisis, Dios va a hacer algo maravilloso en nuestra vida. And we forget that through the crisis, God is going to do something wonderful. Esto les pasó a los discípulos de Jesús en aquel entonces. And this was what happened to the disciples of Jesus in that moment. Habían entrado en ese momento de, de, de esa crisis o esa de situación de desánimo. They had entered into this moment of crisis. Y se quedaron turbados. And they were just unaware of everything. Se quedaron dispersos. They were separated and scattered. Muchos de ellos se fueron. Many of them just left. Las esperanzas de ellos se terminaron. The hope they had was gone. Y eso es exactamente lo que muchas veces se nos sucede cuando pasamos por una crisis. And that's exactly what happens to us when we go through a crisis. Nuestras esperanzas comienzan a, a ir desapareciendo. Our hope is lost and, dis and it starts to disappear. Y perdemos nuestro enfoque. And then we miss out on staying focused. En Lucas capítulo 24. And if we go to the book of Luke chapter 24. Se nos describe lo que pasó en la tumba. It describes to us what happened at the tomb. Ellos no se dieron cuenta. They were not aware. Porque estaban desenfocados. Because they were unfocused. Habían perdido su, su, su fe, su confianza. They had lost their trust. Their faith was gone. Cuando ellos van a la tumba. So when they finally go to the tomb. Encontraron la roca que estaba movida. No estaba en su lugar. They found that the rock had been moved. It was not in its original place. Y ellos encontraron a un ángel o a un personaje ahí cerca de la, de la entrada a la cueva o a la tumba. And they found an angel that was right there very near to the tomb. Y él les dijo lo que Jesús ya les había declarado. And he went ahead and told them what Jesus Jesus had already declared to Jesus them. Jesus les había dicho que iba a regresar. Jesus had said to them already, I shall return. Que él se iba a levantar de la tumba. He said, I will rise up from that tomb. Pero ellos no lo entendieron. But they did not understand this. ¿Por qué razón ellos no entendieron lo que Jesús les había dicho anteriormente? Why didn't they understand what Jesus had already told them before? Y lo que el ángel les dijo cuando algunos de ellos llegaron a la tumba. And what the angel had told them when they finally arrived at the tomb. Sencillamente. It was very simple. Porque estaban viviendo una crisis. Because they were going through a crisis. Era un momento doloroso para it ellos. It was a moment that was very painful for them. Eso les lastimaba mucho haber perdido a su maestro. This moment of losing their master was so painful. Diga conmigo. Come on, say it with me, church. Las crisis. The crisis. Muchas 
muchas veces me desenfoca. Many times I'm focused my Pero life. Pero nosotros tenemos que aprender. But we need to be able to understand. Que Dios tiene un propósito en cada crisis que nosotros vivimos. That God has a crisis, has a plan for us in every crisis that we go Así through. Así que si usted está pasando por una crisis, no pierda su esperanza. So go ahead if you're going through a crisis, don't miss out on your hope. Si usted está pasando por un problema, cualquier tipo de problema, no pierda su fe. So don't go ahead and let your faith be gone if you're going through a crisis. Porque Dios tiene un propósito maravilloso después de, esa, de ese problema. Because God has an incredible purpose for you after that no big problem. Do not let your faith Dios go. Tiene cosas maravillosas. God has marvelous things for you in store. No, no se extravíe. Do not go ahead and be scattered. No tome caminos equivocados. Please don't take a wrong path. Espere en el Señor. Please wait upon the Lord. Porque si Él le prometió. Because if he promised él you, se lo cumplirá. He will fulfill his promise. Ese problema. He had problem. No va a ser para siempre. It will not be eternal for all, forever. No va a ser para siempre. It will not be forever. Diga conmigo, va a pasar. Come on, church, say with me. Va it's a gonna pasar. pass. Come on, say it's gonna pass. Pero mire, qué complicado es cuando estamos en una prueba. Oh, but how complicated it is when we're in the midst of a trial. No encontramos la salida. We are not able to find the exit. No encontramos la solución. We are not able to find the solution. Y nos desesperamos. And then we become desperate. Corremos para todos lados buscando la respuesta. And we start running to everywhere and finding an answer. Corremos para allá. We run to this side. Agarramos para el otro lado. Then we run to the opposite direction. Le preguntamos al vecino. So we go ahead and ask the neighbor. Llamamos a la línea preguntando. We call the certain line to be able to ask for Los help. Los no hacen eso, ¿ok? But the Christian believers don't do that, Pero right? Pero la gente. But the people. En general. In general. Busca respuesta en medio de las crisis. Are trying for answers in the midst of their El crisis. El problema es que no las encuentran. The problem is that they do not find the answers. Porque es fácil que en medio de las crisis perdamos nuestro enfoque. Because it's very easy that in the midst of the crisis we are unfocused. En medio de las pruebas fácilmente nos extraviamos. That in the midst of the trials we are scattered. Perdemos nuestra fe. We are, we are able to lose y our faith. Nuestra esperanza. And we're not able to maintain our Así faith. Como les pasó a los discípulos. The same way that happened to the disciples. Increíble. Incredible, isn't Ellos it? habían visto muchos milagros. They had seen so many miracles. Habían visto que Jesús había resucitado a los muertos. They had seen that Jesus had resurrected the dead. Había eh, eh, dado vista a los ciegos. They had seen that he had given sight to those who were unable to see. Los, los sordos oían. Those who were deaf were able to listen. Las personas que tenían impedimentos físicos caminaban. Those who were handicapped and able to walk were now walking. ¿Qué no habían visto los discípulos? What things hadn't the disciples already seen? Pero cuando llegó ese momento, But when that moment came, cuando vieron a su Señor colgado en la cruz, when they saw the Lord hanging on that cross, diciendo esas palabras, saying these words, se terminó. It is finished. Se acabó. It is done. Ya no hay nada más. There is nothing else to be done. Se traviaron. Then they became scattered and confused. Quedaron como ovejas sin dirección. They were left like sheep with no direction. Cuando pasan en nuestra vida esas cosas. When those things happen in our lives. Quedamos muchas veces así. That's the way that many things we many way, reasons why we are left that way. Y ahora And now we're at this moment and saying, what am I going to do now? ¿Dónde estás Dios? And we're asking, where is God? Esa palabra, consumado es. That word that we see that it is finished. Para Jesús. For Jesus. Fueron palabras de victoria. There were words of victory for Jesus. Él había cumplido su misión. He has completed and fulfilled his mission. Se acabó mi misión. It is done. Está hecho. It is finished. El plan de salvación. The plan of salvation is complete. Se ha completado. It is completed. Ahora, para los discípulos. Now for the disciples. Fueron palabras de derrota. There were words of failure for them. Porque en medio de las crisis. Because in the midst of the crisis. El 
Las personas the people piensan que son momentos de derrota. Their people think that those moments are moments where you have failed. Momentos de pérdida. They think these are moments of great loss. Hubieron otros dos. There were some other two there. Aquellos dos discípulos que iban camino a Emmaus. There were two of them disciples that were on their walk to Emmaus. Mientras ellos iban caminando. As they were walking. Iban platicando. They were talking amongst themselves. Estaban tristes. They were sad. Iban comentando de lo que había pasado en Jerusalén. They were commenting on everything that had happened in Jerusalem. Pero de repente Jesús. But then all of a sudden Jesus. Sin que ellos se dieran cuenta que era Jesús. Without them even noticing that he was Jesus. Se les acercó. He went ahead and came near to them. Y comenzó a caminar con ellos. And he started to walk with them. Y le, ellos le comienzan a decir. Oye eres el único forastero en esta región. Que no se ha dado cuenta de lo que pasó en Jerusalén. And they started to ask. Man are you the only person that's foreign from this. That are not able to know the news of everything that has happened Ellos estaban viviendo una crisis. they were going through a crisis y habían perdido también el enfoque. and they were also unfocused now no se dieron cuenta they did not notice que Jesús era el que hablaba con ellos. that Jesus was the one talking to them Cuando estamos en una crisis, when we're in the midst of a crisis en un problema duro, serio, que no le encontramos salida, in a problem that is huge that is big and we cannot find a solution muchas veces Dios nos habla. Many times he speaks to us. Y nos decimos, no, no, no. And we say, no, no, that's not him. Eso les estaba pasando a ellos. Jesús mismo estaba con ellos caminando hacia Emmaus. This is the same thing that was happening to these disciples. Jesus himself was walking with them. Y ellos insistían en decirle, no te das cuenta lo que pasó con Jesús de Nazaret. And they're insisting on telling him, didn't you notice what happened? To Jesus of Nazareth. Lo han matado. Lo colgaron en una cruz. They have killed them. They have hung them on a cross. Pero de repente llegó la noche, la tardecita y se detuvieron en el camino. But then all of a sudden in their walk it became dark and then they noticed. Y se com comenzaron a, a, a comer, a repartir lo que llevaban entre ellos. And they started to eat and to be able to share with each other what they had brought. Y mientras Jesús partía el pan juntamente con ellos. And as they saw that Jesus was breaking the bread together with them. Entendieron. Uy. Then they noticed. Es Jesús. Oh my God, it is Jesus. Y dice la Biblia que Jesús se les desapareció inmediatamente. And the Bible says that immediately Jesus disappeared. Recobraron la fe. They finally recovered Regresaron the faith. A Jerusalén. They returned to Jerusalem. Porque habían recobrado otra vez esa esperanza. Because they had finally recovered their hope. Se dieron cuenta de que su maestro había resucitado. They noticed that their master had resurrected. Así que hermano, en medio de tu crisis. So brother and sister, in the midst of your crisis. En medio de tu problema. In the midst of your problem. Dios siempre te ha hablado. God has always spoken to Dios you. Dios siempre te ha dado una respuesta He has always given you an answer. el problema es que cuando nosotros estamos ahí cerramos nuestros oídos espirituales y no escuchamos the problem is that when we're in that moment we close our eyes and our ears and we don't listen y no entendemos lo que Jesús nos está hablando and we do not understand what Jesus is telling us porque estamos pensando más en el problema que en lo que Jesús nos está diciendo because we're thinking more about the problem than what Jesus is actually telling us Telling us. Pero hay un momento que en medio de esas crisis las cosas comienzan a cambiar. But there is a moment in that crisis where things have to start to change. Así que no pierdas tu esperanza, hermano. Dios va a comenzar a cambiar tu vida. So don't miss out and don't lose hope. God is going to start to change things. Diga conmigo, no perderé mi esperanza en Dios. Me. I will not lose my hope or my trust in God. Muy dura que parezca tu situación, it, Dios la va a cambiar. It doesn't matter how hard your Dios situation is. God will change your situation. Por muy difícil que tú la veas, Dios la va a cambiar. It doesn't matter how difficult it is. God will change it. Jesús. Jesus. Cuando murió en la cruz. When he died on the cross. Tenía un propósito. He had a purpose. No había otra manera como redimir al ser humano. There was no other way to be able to redeem the human being. No había otra manera, otra forma. There was no other way to do this. 
Por eso es que él pasó por la tortura. And that's why he went through all that torture. Por la humillación. But all the moments of where he was humiliated. Por el sufrimiento. He went through all that suffering. Por el dolor. He went through all the pain. Por eso es que la gente cuando estaba en la cruz decía, mira si tú eres hijo de Dios, ¿por qué no te bajas de esa cruz? And that's why when he was on the cross, people would shout to him and say, hey, if you're the God, if you're his son, why don't you get down from that cross? El deseo del diablo es que él se bajara de la cruz. The desire of the devil was that he would come down from that cross. El deseo del diablo es que él maldijera a los que estaban injuriándole, pero él dijo no. And the desire the devil had was for him to curse those people that were cursing him. Él dijo, perdónalos. But Jesus said, no, forgive them. Porque el diablo quería parar el propósito de Dios. Because the devil wanted to stop the purpose of God. Cuando pasamos por las crisis. When we go through all those crises. El diablo quiere parar el propósito de Dios. He wants to stop the purpose that God has for you. Pero tengas esa seguridad, hermano. But you need to have the reassurance. Que si hoy está en una crisis. That if today you're in the midst of a crisis. Tiene un final. There's going to come an end. Y ese final es el propósito de Dios. And the end is going to be the purpose of God for your life. Esa crisis no durará toda la noche. The crisis will not last all the night. Nosotros seguimos al Señor. You know, we follow the Lord. Tratamos de serle fiel. We try to be faithful to Him. Pero de repente. But then all of a sudden. Perdemos el enfoque. We miss and we lose our focus. Somos muchas veces fieles a Dios. You know, many times we are faithful to the Lord. Pero pasan situaciones en nuestra vida. But then situation happens in our lives. Que nos desenfocamos. That then all of a sudden we become unfocused. ¿Por qué? Why? Porque en las crisis difíciles. Because in the midst of the difficult crisis. Comenzamos a pensar. We start to think. Que nunca llegará el final. That the end will actually never come. Le hago una pregunta. So I'm going to go ahead and ask a question. No me levante la mano. Please do not raise your hand. ¿Cuántos de ustedes han pasado una noche difícil? How many of you have gone through a night that was so difficult? Y usted cuenta los minutos, los segundos. And you go ahead and count the minutes, the moments that you're living. Y usted dice, no avanza el reloj o el tiempo. And you say, my God, the time doesn't move quick enough. Quizás un dolor o un, no sé, un problema fuerte, fuertísimo. Maybe it's a problem or a huge crisis. Y usted no, no alcanza a ver el nuevo día. And you are not able to see the new day come to you. Los días se le hacen eternos. Then the days are just eternal. Porque cuando estamos en crisis. Because when we're in the midst of the crisis. Parece que ese problema nunca va a terminar. It seems like that problem's never gonna finish. Posiblemente usted se ha sentido con ese problema o esa situación. It is possible that you have felt this way during that problem. Y haya pensado que nunca va a terminar. And you have thought this is never gonna end. Le tengo una buena noticia. I have good news for you today. Ese problema. That problem. Se va a terminar. It's going to come to an end. No va a ser para siempre. It will not last forever. Se va a terminar. It's going to come to an Porque end. Porque todo. Because <laughs> everything. Tiene su final. Has an end. Tiene su final. It has todo. an end. Everything. Sobre la tierra tiene su final. Upon the face of the earth has an end. Así que si usted pensaba vivir toda su vida aquí en esta tierra. No. So if you thought you were going to live all your life here on earth. Algunos ya nos hace falta menos. You know, some of us are getting very to, así que, to that limit of our lives. Así que aprovechemos. So we need to be able to take advantage no of our lives. Y no perdamos el tiempo desenfocados. And do not miss out on that moment and being unfocused. Algunos nos hace falta 20 años, 10, Some of us only cinco, have 20 more years, 10, 5, I don't know. 20, lo mucho, 30. Maybe 20, 30 at the most. 
No vamos a ser eternos en esta tierra. We are not going to be eternal here on earth. Claro, nosotros vamos a seguir viviendo. Of course, no we are going to continue to live not en here, otro lado. somewhere else. O sea, la vida aquí se va a terminar, no más que vamos para otro país. In other words, life is going to come to an end here, but then we're going to go somewhere Pero else. Pero todo sobre la faz de la tierra va a terminar un día. But everything that's here on the face of earth is going to come to an end. Así también sus problemas y sus crisis van a terminar un día. ¿Por qué? Todo. Also, your crisis and your problems are going to come to an end. Todo lo que empieza tiene un final. Everything that is started has an end. Ahora, ¿qué hacemos cuando pasamos por momentos duros en la vida? So what do we do when we go through those difficult moments? ¿Qué hacemos? What do we do? ¿Qué hacemos? Ahí nos debemos de contestar cada uno de nosotros. ¿Qué hacemos cuando pasamos por momentos difíciles? That is something that we need to answer ourselves. What do we do when we go through those difficult moments? Porque hay momentos vergonzosos, duros. Because there's moments that are so embarrassing, they're so Pero tough. hay otros momentos duros que no podemos soportar. But then we have moments that are just so hard that we're unable to take upon. Y en medio de esos días difíciles. And in the midst of those difficult days. No se le olvide, hay un propósito de Dios para usted. Please do not forget there's a purpose of God for your life. Al final de esos días hay un propósito de Dios. At the end of those days there is a purpose of God for your life. Así que no importa la situación que le ha tocado vivir. So it doesn't matter the situation that you had to live through. Dios. God está trabajando en su vida It is working in your life. y vendrá un día feliz un final feliz posiblemente usted ha perdido el trabajo y dice ahora ¿cómo le voy a hacer? Maybe you've lost your job. You're like, man, how am I going to accomplish all this? Está atravesando por una situación de salud y no encuentra cómo la va a resolver. You're going through a moment of your health and it's difficult. How are you going to overachieve this? Posiblemente sea una crisis de seguridad. Maybe it's a crisis where you don't feel secure. Y a usted le duele. And it's painful. Le lastima eso que está viviendo. And it's hurting you this moment that you're y no living. no encuentra la solución para ello. And you are not able to find the solution for this. Permítame decirle esto de parte de Dios. So let me tell you this word that comes from God. Va a haber un final feliz. There's going to be an ending that's going to be happy. Y Dios tiene un propósito para cada situación. And God has a purpose for every situation. ¿Por qué? Why? Porque Dios Because God Siempre, diga conmigo siempre Come on church, say always No de vez en cuando, siempre Not sometimes, but always Tiene un propósito al final de cada crisis God has a purpose at the end of every crisis Y pudiéramos hablar de muchas historias en la Biblia And we could talk about so many stories in the Bible de gente que pasó por diferentes problemas. Of people that went through so many different situations. Y al final de todo ello. And at the end of all this. Había una solución. There was a solution. Y un final bonito, agradable. And an ending point that was happy. Nuestra vida. Our life. Si confiamos en Dios. If we trust God, si no nos desenfocamos del propósito de Dios. If we do not unfocus from the purpose of God, aunque hoy estemos pasando por una crisis. Although today we could be going through a crisis. Al final de esa crisis. At the end of that crisis, será un final feliz. It's going to be a great ending. Dígale a su vecino tendrás un final feliz. Come on, tell your neighbor you're going to have a great ending in your life. Aunque hoy nos caigan piedras y nos golpeen, nos hieren, nos... Although hagan... today we have rocks falling and things are hurting us. Pero si no perdemos nuestra esperanza, nuestra confianza y nuestra fe en Jesucristo. But if we do not lose our focus and our trust in God. Él lo prometió. He promised it to Estaremos us. Estaremos en el cielo. We will be up there in heaven. No habrá dolor. There will be no more pain. No habrá lágrimas. There will be no more tears. No habrá llanto. There will be no more no crying. No habrá enfermedad. There will be no more illness. Va a ser 
alegría. It's gonna be joy. Y además, no solamente para 100 años, para la eternidad. Furthermore, it won't be for 100 years, but for eternity. Para la eternidad. But for eternity. Pero no nos desenfoquemos del propósito de Dios. But please do not unfocus from the purpose that God has for you. Jesús. Jesus. En ese momento difícil. In that moment that was so difficult. No se desenfocó.